Yo, 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 what up, man? This, this is your kid, Killer Tapes 93, your host. And I'm back with a brand new uh, hip hop vinyl dig video. Everything I've been digging for the past couple months will be in this video. Um, apologies up front. I'm not going to get into detail too much about each album because um, I got too many of them and I got to get through it, man. Um, I'll do my best to leave descriptions for each one, uh, information on each album down in the description below. Um, if you still have some questions, uh, go ahead and make, go ahead and leave some comments about any other albums you may see, man. So let's go. Let's get it. Above the Law, man, with Time to Reveal. Um, I want to say this is maybe their third or fourth uh, project. Um, I want to say it dropped like in 1995, but I got this at a local record store in my hometown of Fresno, California, and they only wanted 15 bucks for it. It's a used copy, but it's in great condition, and I had to get it, man. Had to get it. Go ahead and get a look at the back side of the album. It's pretty nice. Lucky to have it, man. Let's get it going. Next up, man, we got some Apollo Brown with Clouds. I want to say there's maybe one or two uh, joints that got that got rhyming on them by a couple MCs, but for the most part, it's an instrumental. But nonetheless, man, we got Apollo Brown with Clouds. Next up, man, we got some more Apollo Brown, man, with Mona Lisa. Apollo Brown and Joel Ortiz collaboration. Apollo Brown and Joel Ortiz with Mona Lisa, man. It's got a Royce the Five Nine feature on it. I got this from the Bellow Music Group, half off sale that they had last year. Big shouts to them. Great prices, great deals, man. Let's uh, keep this thing going. Okay, got some more Apollo Brown, man, for the trifecta. And this one is Sincerely Detroit. Um, this is on ultra clear vinyl. Um, I haven't opened it yet, or else I'd show it to you. But again, Apollo Brown, you should all know who he is. Uh, the producer from out of Detroit. Um, those are some of the MCs that appear on the album. Uh, Apollo Brown, man, Sincerely Detroit. Got this from uh, the Mellow Music uh, Half Off Sale last year. And I'm very happy to have it, man. Let's go. All right, so moving on to the Beat Nuts, man, with the Intoxicated Demons EP Classic. Um, back when the group still had fashion in it. Um, I got this from a local record store in my city of Fresno, California, Raging Records. If you're ever in town, go check them out. Um, you can find gems like this there, man. But uh, I guess... It's got a rare, uh, out of print, hard to find sticker on it. I don't know how true that is, um, but uh, I hardly ever see this on vinyl. I can count maybe one time that I saw this on vinyl and didn't grab it, but didn't let it pass this time, man. So, Beat Nuts, Intoxicated Demons EP. Happy to have it. Next up, man, we got Benny the Butcher with the plugs I met and I want to say this particular uh, edition right here I got it from Fat Beats I think I got it from Fat Beats man um, but Benny the Butcher man the plugs I met EP um, there goes your classic picture with uh, Montana and Sosa and it's got most of the instrumentals on side B man so you know I'm loving that but uh, very glad to own it, man. Benny the Butcher, the plugs I met. Very much uh, some BSF fire right here. Let's get it going. Next up, man, we got some Brother Lynch Hung out that sack town um, with Season of the Sickness, The Resurrection. Um, this is actually a translucent yellow limited 2LP edition. Trans translucent yellow and translucent orange. It's a 2LP set. Um, I want to say I got this from Smoke, actually from Made Sick Music, I want to say I got this from. Um, it delivered through Amazon, though, so that was crazy. But um, they're doing their best to bring back some West Coast classics on vinyl. And uh, this is one of the first ones they're starting with. But i um, so happy to have it, man. I never thought I'd own this on vinyl, but it's got all, it's got all the great tracks, man. They didn't leave anything off it. So there you have it, man. Made Sick Music did a great job with this. Brother Lynch on uh, Season of the Sickness, The Resurrection. 
Let's go. All right, next up, man, we got some more Bro Lynch with Loaded. Um, this was actually put out by, I'm going to say it was Sick Records. They're another company that's doing wonderful things with all the West Coast classics that never hit vinyl. Um, this is a two LP set, and it's on green and red splatter uh, colored vinyl. And like I said, man, they just did a great job with this. And I'm even more happy to have this on vinyl, man. Um, just a classic. If you haven't heard it, check it out. Brother Lynch with Loaded. Let's get it. Next up, we got Common. Common Resurrection. Um, I want to say I got this for like 10 bucks off Amazon. Brand new. Um, a West, or not a West, but a uh, hip hop classic. Common is out of Chicago. Um, here's some of the tracks. Of course, I used to love her. Um, just a classic album. I'm sure you've all heard of this by now, but I never had this on vinyl. I needed to get it on vinyl. Here it is. Um, lucky to have it. And uh, I will definitely be enjoying this one. Let's get it going. All right, next up, man, we got some Conway with GOAT. Some Conway fans will say that this is uh, Conway's uh, greatest piece of work, and I will not argue that. But what I will say is that um, I probably would never own this record if it wasn't for Sneak A7, um, a cool dude that I met through Instagram. Um, happens to live near my area. Uh, him and I did a great trade, pulled off a great trade, and this was involved. And this is actually the this is actually the green colored variant. So the vinyl is green, and it's, this is the number six copy of 333 only that were ever made. So a dog release, of course. Here's some of the tracks produced by Darren Darren Alchemist. Um, I'm just, I, I can't explain how happy I am to own this, man. Because I, like I said, I never thought I would, but uh, big shouts to Sneak A7. Uh, Conway with Go. Let's keep it going. All right, next up, man, some more Conway with FKTG from King to a God. I just got this like last week, I want to say. Got it in the mail finally. Um, it is like a, it's a marble colored vinyl. It looks almost like a red wine, like a like a cab almost. But um, they did a beautiful job on these on these man. Um, the rap winkle. Um, I want to say they're either from Australia or the UK. I can't remember exactly where they're coming out of, but it's international, man. But they did a hell of a job with these. Um, some some Conway fans, a lot of them say that this is his best work, man. I won't I won't argue that either, man. But they just did a great job with this, man. And this is number 29 out of 150 only that were made. Um, FKTG Conway the Machine, man. So blessed, so happy to ha happy to own it, man. Let's get it. Let's keep it going. All right, next up, man, we got Cousin Fayo and Dre Mendoza with Provoleta. Um, I want to say Cousin Cousin Fayo is an Argentine MC, and um, I want to say he's based out of Los Angeles, California, and the dude is just fucking fire. If you haven't heard Cousin Fayo, go check him out, man. He kind of he kind of incorporates like uh, like all the soccer greats, like the sport of soccer into his music, kind of like how Griselda does with wrestling. Um, if you hear his music, it, it, it actually could remind you of that. Uh, he mixes in little snippets like like of live, uh, you know, soccer games and shit. But it's very dope the way he does it, man. He's, he, he does it with his own flavor, man. So I, I would say that he's not, it doesn't sound like he's biting at all, man, but he, he's, he does it with his own flavor so it works, man. But Nonetheless, man, Provoleta from Cousin Feo and Dre Mendoza, the, pro the producer, got together on this one. Um, I want to say it's like eight or seven tracks. Uh, and I got this from Tough Kong. 
and it's uh, 100. This is number 177 of only 300 made, man. And produced by Dre Mendoza and done by Cousin Feo on the lyrics with Provoleta. Check it out if you haven't. All right, man. Another fucking just another fucking classic um, uh, released by Dop Records. And this is another one that I never would have got. I never would have got this if it wasn't for my guy Sneak A7 from Instagram. Go check his uh, go check his Instagram out, man. He's he's got a lot of cool shit on there. A lot of great uh, music. Just a good dude, man. This is Crime Apple with with Aguardiente. Um, I'm not sure what number release this is for him, but this is actually a picture disc. Um, it's sealed, and I got this in a trade with uh, Sneak A7, man. I got this in that in that Conway Goat record in a trade with him, man. And this is number 128 of 250 made. So just so blessed to have this, man. This is my favorite project from Crime Apple. Crime Apple is one of my favorite MCs. Um, just very happy to have it, man. Um, Aguariente, Crime Apple. Let's keep it moving. All right, next up, man, I got some more Crime Apple for that ass. If I don't see you in paradise, um, I forgot who the guy was that does the artwork for Crime Apple. I wish I could remember his name because he deserves it. Um, he makes great artwork, as you can see right here. Um, I got this off of uh, Crime Apple's website, uh, Mondeca Worldwide, I think it's called. Um, he released this about, um, this was like maybe his, let's see, second, uh, actually like, he released three albums recently, and this is like, I want to say the first of the last three that he's dropped, but uh, Crime Apple, man, um, just doing it again on this album right here, man. Um, if I Don't See You in Paradise, man, production by Buck Dudley, Saudi Gold, Sunny Jim, just uh, another record that I'm just very happy, very blessed to have, man. Crime Apple, if I don't see you in paradise. Um, blessed to have it. Let's go. Alright, next up, man. The DOC with No One Can Do It Better. Um, let's see. This is a Get On Down certified classic. And basically, this is just an album that I needed on vinyl. And just uh, finally pulled the trigger on it. Picked it up. Uh, I always love this picture on the back right here, man, of the DOC. Rocking that DOC, the DOC chain. And he's got the Africa medallion at the same time. <laughs> the DOC, man, no one could do it better. Um, I shouldn't have to tell you anything about this. Um, it's a building block, a pillar in West Coast hip hop. But the DOC, no one can do it better. Happy to have it. All right, next up, man, we got the Dog Pound with Dog Food. I want to say this is a 2LP set and it's colored vinyl. They're gonna call it Oceania, Oceania, Oceania Blue. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but this is from the last record store, uh, 2020 record store day. Um, I've never ever seen this on vinyl. Um, I never had it at least. Um, I've only owned the tape and the CD. So when I saw this was dropping on, uh, on RSD uh, last year, I had to get this, man. And um, the back actually looks the same as the CD. It's got the uh, the prison cell uh, photo with the dogs on the back. But uh, another record store, record store day 2020 release, man. That I'm very very happy to have, man. And um, this is gonna be it for the last uh, the last album. So um, I will definitely be back with a, another video soon because I still got this crate to show you. Till next time, man. This has been your host, Killer Tapes 93.